how to become an ENT doctor. Did you know employment for surgeons and physicians could grow 7% by 2028? The employment growth rate is faster compared to other occupations. If you're interested in healthcare, consider becoming an ear, nose, and throat specialist. Are you wondering how to become an ENT doctor? Not to worry. In this guide, we'll go over ENT schooling and the steps you need to take. Want to learn more? Keep watching to find out. Welcome once again to our nursing exercise channel. If this is your first time here, we have a YouTube channel that aims to enrich your knowledge about your health, fitness, medication, nutrition, diet, etc. And if it is your plan to update yourself about these important issues for all of the important tips, advice, discussion and presentation, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click on our notification bell icon. Let's start our presentation. What does an ENT specialist do? An ENT specialist works with patients with nose, ear, throat, or head and neck conditions. Some of these conditions could include nerve pain, ear infections, or balance problems. The specialist would treat people with chronic sinusitis or have trouble with allergies. Patients who have difficulty with their esophagus or swallowing will see an ENT. Interests and skills ENT specialists will need a mix of personal qualities and skills. You will need to have strong listening skills. You could end up working with people who may have communication difficulties. Skills like manual dexterity and good hand-eye coordination are a plus. You will also need a robust visuospatial awareness. ENT specialists will also need organization skills in the ability to cope with a busy role. Working well with others and managing a team are also skills you'll need to develop. What do I study during my undergrad? Your bachelor's degree is your first step to becoming an ENT doctor. Interested students tend to finish a broad range of majors. You should take courses like physics, chemistry, biology. Most med schools list these courses as prerequisites. You'll also want to look into an oral and written communication course. During the undergrad years, students should work hard to make their resume stand out. You can complete community service or join pre-medical organizations. Volunteer at a local organization or see if you can shadow a physician at your local hospital. Start studying for your MCAT and take a few practice exams. Before you graduate, you will apply for medical school. Finish med school. During your medical program, you will study psychology, biochemistry, pathology, the anatomy, and histology. Students will prepare for their objective structured clinical exams. In the second year, students will focus more on the clinical aspect. In the third and fourth years, students transition into clinical rotations. They will also get exposed to a range of different specializations. Finish your residency. Once you complete medical school, you will also need to finish a five-year residency. You will receive training on specific issues of the ears, nose, and throat. You will also learn about oncology, anesthesiology, pediatrics, and surgery. This five-year residency is part of becoming a board-certified ENT. Get your license. The licensing regulations differ from state to state. Doctors will need to finish a state exam in the state they hope to practice. Most people try to complete their residency in the preferred state. This way, they can remain there when they complete the residency and get their license. If not, you'll have to learn a new set of rules before taking the licensing test. What about becoming board certified? 
If you want to get board certified, you'll need to graduate from an accredited med school. You can go to school in Canada, the US, or an international school approved by the World Health Organization. You'll also need to have an unrestricted license and practice in at least one state. Finish your training for your ENT specialty. Take the test and pass the American Board of Otolaryngology. What about subspecialties? The American Board of Otolaryngology offers certification and exams for two subspecialties. You can get one in sleep medicine and neurology. ENT specialists will finish a year of extra training to specialize in pediatrics. Other options include plastic and reconstructive surgery, voice and swallowing, or allergy. Join the American Academy of Otolaryngology. When you complete your studies, you'll want to continue to build your network. Look into continued education opportunities and research. Join a professional organization to look for these different opportunities. What's the career path? An ENT specialist can work in a clinic, hospital, or private practice. Most ENT doctors will work in private practices or focus on surgery. There are many different opportunities for ENT specialists. You could work with children or help people with severe allergies. If you enjoy surgery, look into plastic and reconstructive surgery. If you have a clinic, you can get help from your administrative personnel and nurses. Most self-employed doctors can make their schedules. They will have more flexibility compared to working for an organization. You may have to travel during this job. Specialists will end up visiting their patients in different hospitals or at home. You could also end up working irregular and long hours. What's the career potential? ENT specialists are in high demand in the United States. Over half of doctor visits have a connection to ENT problems. There's coverage available with insurance for ENT visits. Now more people can see an ENT specialist. If you need to book an appointment, check out the best ENT consultants. If you have any query, please comment in the comment box and if you enjoy watching our videos, please subscribe our channel to receive notifications every time we upload a new video. Hit the bell icon twice. Thanks for watching.